Afternoon everyone, got a bit of better daylight here now. Um, just another one of these uh, videos, just like a quick hint, tip, how to, show you how to do something. Again, working in the dealership, I do see certain faults come through um, and certain customers not quite understanding the features that they do have on their car. So this is a little bit of uh, something to do with Apple. I'm gonna show you the Apple version because I've got an iPhone, I've not got an Android, so it'll be a different scenario. Probably not so much, but will be a little bit different. So I'll show you this. If you've got something on your car called uh, CarPlay or SmartLink, you'll probably see it in the uh, the menu. So just when you go in on your menu screen, you'll be swiping through and you'll see SmartLink pop up there. This is just a little bit of a, uh, a show how to uh, connect your phone to SmartLink and just some of the features that you can get on SmartLink. It is really, really good. Very, very handy if you're just in the car on your own. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not promoting texting while driving or anything like that, but I will show you the features and then you can make your own mind up if they're any use to you or if they're not. But it's easier for me to explain some of the features and then to you, to you to think, I actually quite like that or I probably would use that. Some people are not unsure of using new technology, so they just don't. So uh, again, this could help you. Uh, have a watch, see what you think. I'll go through the stages from connecting my phone with a wire to uh, everything else. So this is the setup that you want to see. You can go just to the radio screen if, if you want to use that as a, uh, a starting point. It's easier just to uh, go from a, a sort of a common starting point there. So all you'll do is just down here in my USB port, I've got the genuine cable. Now you probably could get away with using the uh, aftermarket cables, but I would always recommend using the genuine ones. Now that's just better as they are tested and built for this equipment. So you, you are guaranteed that it's gonna work. So all you do is plug it into the bottom of your phone and you will see a connection will be established with CarPlay. You don't have to click anything on your screen or anything on your phone. This is just gonna recognize automatically. And once it's done that, you'll see a lovely little menu pop up there. Usually it'll give you everything you need to see. It does take a couple of seconds to load and we'll bring up a screen, uh, quite a cool screen like this, to be fair, um, with all your options on. Now, I don't advise using anything like this while you're driving, obviously to keep safety in mind. But here's some of the cool features that you can use, hands-free, so you keep your phone well out of your hand, well out of your way. And uh, you have a passenger use it if you fancy. So I'm not going to show you any personal details for obvious reason, but this is the menu that you can go into. So I'll show you your favourites, recent contacts, keypad and voicemail. All your options are there. Very, very simple. Very easy to use, very user friendly. It also gives you your phone signal just there. So uh, you can see everything in full view. You will get music. Now there's a couple of options for music here. So if I just describe them, it'll be a lot easier for you. Music is your Apple Music. So that's if you're using iTunes for your music. You've got maps on there as well. If we click on maps, if your car doesn't have nav, but it has smart link, this is another good way of using it. We'll use data on your phone. So most of the things here that I'm showing you will use data on your phone. So if you've not got data on your phone or you don't use it, um, it's probably not gonna work for you. But the sat nav itself is quite um, comprehensive. It's uh, not quite the Skoda nav, but like I say, it will use the internet, so it will give you up-to-date um, traffic announcements and we'll show you on there red routes. Now, I'm in quite a quiet area at the minute, so there's not going to be any red routes. But you can um, you can move it around and just like a normal sat-nav, you can pinch it and it'll go in and out. It's sometimes a bit jumpier than just the normal Skoda nav, depending on whether you have that option or not. So that's your nav, you can use your search functions and everything like that. I would go into messages, but there will be some uh, messages for me, to, uh, so not showing them on the internet. But message feature, it will not let you type on the screen for obvious reasons. We don't want you using your phones or another way of using your phone while you're driving. So what it'll do is it'll pop up along the bottom saying you've got a message. And if you were to press that, obviously while parked up stationary, it will then read your text message out for you. It won't ask you to look at the screen. It'll read it out for you. And then you can reply. It'll come up with a little Siri button and it will uh, 
take you speaking into your uh, car and it will send that as a text message completely hands-free which is, I think is a very clever feature again I'm not uh, I'm not asking you to uh, use your hands or be distracted, distracted from driving again this is uh, purely hands-free no distractions it's going to come up with your calendar your appointments anything you've got saved in there obviously I've got no events today other than uh, me doing these videos for you just as a help uh, you do get your quick buttons down the side so you've got maps spotify and your calendar this checkered button here is takes you to your menu now just like the skoda menu you can swipe you can have points of interest on your map shopping and food that is your map and then if you are using any kind of music source it will show you there playing so you can skip them and play them so back to the main screen you can go into your settings and you'll get do not disturb while driving you can change the appearance the wallpaper series suggestions in dashboard now this is iphone or ios it may be different for android if i can get an android phone just to uh, demonstrate i will do another video for that and it will uh, then move over to any apps you do have so if you are using amazon music Anything that's safe and certified by Skoda to be used will be on here. So Amazon Music, Spotify, Google Maps. Google Maps is a great one for traffic reports. And just generally when you're driving around, it will give you, again, red routes and recalculate the route for you. Um, Spotify, another good one. If you are an avid music listener, to, I will show you that because there's nothing, nothing crazy on there. It will give you all your latest ones. You can browse, obviously by browsing you will be pulled over and uh, not driving, definitely not driving. But it will give you everything you need to know in quite a simple menu so you're not faffing about looking for things forever. Again, WhatsApp works in a very similar way to text messaging. It will come up, it will read it out for you through your speakers and it will uh, then take a response from you. If you want to respond using the same thing, you will just talk into your car using your inbuilt microphones, which are just up here if you're not aware what they were, you just thought they were decoration. Uh, quite a few people do. They're your microphones for your hands free. So they're all your menus. You can pop through everything. And it is simply just connecting a cable, genuine cable might I add, to the USB port on your car. Now you can, if your vehicle does have this as an option, let me take you to uh, the menu. You may find that it has that smart link, if I just unplug my phone, it will go back to SmartLink as it uses iOS and it does also use Android. If you've got that and it comes up with a screen sort of similar to that, but it's telling you to take it to a dealership, that will need the uh, the license code putting in and obviously activating through the dealerships. That can be done. It does cost money, unfortunately, but as you've seen, it's a great idea um, for just using your phone as a, a better setup than just using your normal Bluetooth. Because as, as you're well aware, once you plug this in it's not only reading data off your phone and putting it on the screen it's also charging your phone at the same time so it's a win-win situation on that as we know iphone batteries can be a little bit rubbish but it keeps everything charged up nicely and uh, will work just by plugging it in no crazy menus anything like that so that's it for smart link again i hope this video has been uh, quite informative for smart link uh, as, as i get more features to show you and we'll do that in further videos um if if there's any videos you do want anything you're not quite understanding on the skoda platform in particular because i do own a skoda it's a lot easier to show you i can show you i can do another video as always feedback is more than welcome i can do content based on what people struggle with if it's anything to do with media or any system in the car that i could possibly explain on a video i will do please 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 just give us the feedback let us know and like always Hope this has helped you. Appreciate your support. Please subscribe, hit the bell button. You'll get all the latest content as and when I put it on. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.